Today, we're going to be reacting to the album Five Star In Full by Stray Kids for the first time ever. Oh, I am so excited for this. This is going to be my first proper deep dive into a Stray Kids album. And, you know, I'm really into Stray Kids at the moment. I've loved all of the tracks that we've checked out so far. And honestly, like, I feel like they're quite a special group. So special, in fact, that I actually believe that they're going to be my first ever K-pop band that I ever see live. On the 14th, they're playing in London, and I, I think I'm going to go. What a group to be your first group too, right? Guys, let me know what are your thoughts on this album? Where does it rank for you? Because I know that they've got a couple mini albums. And I don't know if they've got another full length. I, they might. Let me know what your thoughts are on this album. Is it your favorite? Let me know. Also, let me know. Do you have any favorite tracks off of this album? Let me know. Now, as always, these videos do need to be edited for YouTube just because, well, YouTube just doesn't like us having fun and likes to just block everything. So if you do want to see the complete full unedited version, I do have a Patreon link that is down in the description below. You'll also get to see all of the album reactions that we do weeks ahead of YouTube. Plus all the other videos, like all the variety videos, the, the videos that YouTube blocks, the live performances, and you can even request your own reactions the link to that is down in the description below now quick heads up i know that the song s class is in this album but it won't be in this album reaction because we've already reacted to that video so no point like re-reacting to it right if you want to check that out the link will be somewhere on the channel go check it out it was one of my favorites that we've done so far and lastly let me know what other albums you would like to see me check out whether it be stray kids or other groups let me know but guys that said hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's go Okay, Hall of Fame, we actually reacted to a live video of this song, right? But it didn't have any, like, lyric subs or anything, so... Okay. Such a nice voice. Oh! The ferocity in his voice? Now, I'm still really getting to know Stray Kids. Like, I, I only know, like, a couple of their names. But it's interesting because this is the first time that I've heard that guy Han in Stray Kids since I did his... He just put out a solo song called Maybe. And hearing how, like, nicely he sang in that, then hearing that he's actually, like, rapping here. That dude is so talented, right? Oh, we build him. Ignores time zones. I like that. Okay. Dude, his voice. Oh, that guitar in the background, man. Oh, he, oh dude, that that is a hook, man. Oh, dude, they just know how to like make really cool hooks don't they there's something about them they've just kind of got this way this kind of energy the way that they can transition between rap and singing as well but still make it seem just as intense i really like this quick question did you know that there are brokers out there that sell your information to scammers and spammers and anyone else who may want to target you and your family your full name email address home address health records and even your family's information it's all out there i recently did a simple web search on my name and i was absolutely shocked to just see how much of my private information was just freely available. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers have been selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests on my behalf. This really does help to clean up all of my information and reduce spam, which these days is becoming quite a lot. But not just that, it helps protect me from hackers who may want to gain access to my social media accounts, bank accounts, and anything else. Now, you may not have heard this, but this is absolutely crazy, but AT&T recently revealed that up to 73 former and existing customers had had their information and I'm talking sensitive information leaked to the dark web. That's just crazy, right? They recommend those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. But here's the thing, Aura does it all for me. I don't need to go and download a bunch of different apps just because a company couldn't protect my information like they're supposed to. So if my information was compromised by AT&T, I wouldn't even have to worry. I literally wouldn't have to worry because of Aura just doing the hard work, always being on and doing what it needs to. You can head over to www.aura.com forward slash Alonzi to claim your 14 day free trial. The link to that is down in the description below.
Bitcoin. So let's stop those pesky data brokers from stealing your information and head over to www.aura.com forward slash Alonzi. Grab your 14 day free trial and see what data is being taken from you and get it sorted. A massive thank you to Aura for this awesome offer and sponsoring today's video. Oh, dude, with headphones on, the way they panned his voice going left and right. Overturn the game board, okay. That's confidence, dude. Markets, okay. Ah, oh, dude, there's that energy. Dude, the power in his voice. Okay, nice sample here. I just think that they're really creative with all the kind of like different kind of like styles and stuff that they'll do. Like to put a sample in there of Neil Armstrong is pretty cool. But like even the use of guitars, the way they distorted them in the backgrounds and use them almost just like sirens rather than guitars. Creatively, I love that sort of stuff. Oh, such a nice voice, dude. Oh, that high note. Dude, his voice is so well matched to the building of that. Dude, his voice is a bass guitar, isn't it? Dude, that's such a good way to open a record as well. It has all of the kind of like hallmarks of what Stray Kids are about. It shows off all of their like kind of like muscles. And it also has that real good fiery energy that i just feel like they're kind of known for i feel like stray kids have a very like unique sound don't they they're very like different from other groups you know and some people may not like that something might be a bit like hot for some people but i kind of think it's quite cool to have your own signature sound okay oh where are we going with this Oh, oh that, that, that's cool. Dude, I love his rapping, man. Oh. Dude, it's so flawless. The way they just change that up. Oh, that is a hook! Da, da, da. Oh, that's sick. Honestly, there is just something about this group. They just have this way of just making different sounds kind of still fit together when they shouldn't. Having a staggered rap line and then going into like a smooth kind of build up through like melody. The way that they do it with that kind of like harsh electronics and then to blend it into that kind of soft stuff. Full credit to them because that is really hard to pull off and they do it flawlessly. All right, where are we going? Oh, the aggression. You want to head back to that? Oh. Dude, this Bang Chan guy, he's so good at that kind of thing. That kind of vocal style. This is actually really good for me because I'm starting to actually learn more about the other members and what actual stars they do. Because before, like, I'm, I've heard, like, a couple of names. I'm like, I don't know whether they are a rapper or they're a singer. They do a little bit of everything. Like, what do they do? Now I'm actually starting to see it, and it's really cool. And not just, like, are they a singer? It's like, what? type of singer are they you know you got different types of rappers and types of singers like that bang chan's vocals the way like those soft melodies he does so good dude this guy han is a monster 
That's the highest I've ever heard Felix go. Oh. That transition. And how do they make it work so good, you know? Uh, uh, like he does it so good Dude, they blend so well together, don't they? He's so aggressive It's like a Ugh. Dude, so good, man The Strikers have this thing where they can like make aggressive pop music that like you don't really hear it that much but it's just so like punchy and that's not like in like a heavy metal way or anything like that it's more like it's just an aggression in a really good way that you don't really hear i actually think it's quite refreshing especially coming from a background of being a metal head i love that the fact that he can rap so well and sing so good as well like he's a freak of nature man Dude, there's some like 8-bit music in the background there. Okay. Oh, that's an elevated... Okay, that's sick. Dude, the production is wild. Do, 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 do. Oh, so sick, man. The great thing about Stray Kids is you never really know what to expect. Like, even in a song, you can get used to something, and then they can just do a drop and a switch, and then all of a sudden, it's a completely different song that you're listening to, but yet it somehow still works. It's genius by them, actually. And the fact that they're all so diversely, like, talented, and the fact that what they can do, I mean, you look at Han, for example, can sing and rap. It just gives them so many tools in their toolbox to, like, just do the crazy stuff and i think that's why it makes why it makes stray kids stand out okay super bowl hey dude this is tripping okay dude is that the gordon ramsay thing oh And see, oh, that's a that's a hook, dude. He shouldn't be allowed to be that good looking, dude. This video, Loki, this is trippy as balls. But the fact is, is they make it work. They have like a personality and a vibe that I just feel like you kind of like. I learned quite early on that stray kids are just different from everyone else. And that they're kind of just gonna gonna go and do their own thing. Whether you like it or not, that is awesome. And the fact that they are so creative with their music videos as well, like they use that as an extension of art to the song, that's sick. All right, we're gonna build here for sure. Oh. Bussin. Ooh, that whispering. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this just really kind of reminds me of God's Menu, you know, like all the kind of like the culinary kind of vibe about how we like we're basically making something insane and in this case a super bowl also i kind of like that their you know their, their confidence doesn't come across as too arrogant to the point where it's like Ugh. it's kind of like you know you this is what we do dude the way that dropped into him <laughs> oh yeah Dude, this beat is so nice and simple so that they can just go to town on it. Oh. 
Dude, their voices. Oh. Dude, that looks like it was a vibe to film. Everything that they do just seems like it's a vibe. Like, it's really thought out. Like, they're just like, you know what they are? They're the stray kids, but they're like the cool kids, aren't they? You know, they kind of group you like, oh, man, I hate the fact that they're so cool and I can't be like that too, you know? That voice. Dude, they're such pretty looking boys, man. It's not fair. And that, that voice. Okay, let's go. Oh, dude, that delayed drop. That caught me. That was good. Dude, they make it look effortless, man. Dude, this would have been so fun to film. Oh, that, that was awesome. Oh, that was the Japanese version. Okay. Well, I mean, that just shows you just as a British person, I have no idea. And I'm oblivious to the fact that that was actually a Japanese version. I'll be interested to see how different Korean version was. But that was such a cool video. You know, that one was more like a vibe for me. Like, they didn't have to go too crazy with the production or anything like that because the concept itself was already kind of like out there and really cool, which is really good. And sometimes, like I said before, having like a, a kind of like a, a simple kind of song can make the people that are like, of rapping or singing on top of it have way more room to just kind of go with it and i mean they even had whispering sections i mean come on okay money i don't know who tiger jk is it's interesting there's money there everywhere and we saw them like flowing it around in the last one oh okay Ah, oh, dude, that muffled trumpet in the background. Dude, I love that coat, man. Okay. Dude, I just kind of like this kind of like hustle kind of thing that they've got going on. You know, in the last one that they're talking about, you know, like what we're cooking up is so good. And then here we can just see them. They're like, you know, I'm putting my shit to work, you know, like my lyrics are pioneer, you know, like I'm this, this money is a result of that. And I just kind of still find it funny that last video we saw them like throwing money around and then it just starts the next video with it all over the floor. Ah, oh, dude, I love his voice. The rebuilding. Dude, they got a top line magazine. That's cool. All right, where are we going? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Oh, Phoenix bringing that. Dude, that is a drop and a half. Dude, that's always kind of like an old school kind of like track that they've kind of got going there. Like with the trumpets and the kind of like old school drums and stuff like that. Like it's it kind of it's very kind of like old hip hoppy almost. And then to be fair, when you've got like the big like fur jackets and the money raining down, you, you can kind of see maybe a bit of that. Okay. I like his style. Oh, the mix up with the English there was kind of cool. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but do you always find it weird? Like if you've got really good rappers in the group, who in my opinion are a better rapper than this guy. He seems cool. Like the feature kind of is like... Why would you need a feature? Unless it's to like get exposure or whatever, you know, or it's going to like bring something to the song that only they could. I wouldn't necessarily say he's done that. I don't think he's done a bad job at all. I think, you know, it was quite cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like, guys, let me know your thoughts on that sort of stuff. And what do you f f think of this feature too? Look at me now. How about now you can't deny. But we're still running on the 
I mean, that's a flow, man. Oh, he makes it look so easy. It's so simple, man. Oh. Do you see what I mean? I mean, like, you got those guys and they're just coming out and just absolutely, like, smashing it. Yeah, I just feel like, I, I don't know, this is always one thing I've always, like, kind of thought about. Oh. Dude in the back reading a magazine, just like, yes! Oh, okay, I see petrol burning and well, getting spilled in the background. Okay, here we go. Dude, that's so powerful, that drop, isn't it? Oh, let's go, man. It's the energy. They always have it. It's like effortless with them. Dude, he is too pretty to look at, man. I can't make eye contact with that dude. Oh, dude, that's such a groove, isn't it? Oh, hell yes, man. Dude, this, this, this might have been one of the better ones on the album so far. Dude. So good. I generally think that they're just like kind of the masters of like turning simplicity into like really cool, aggressive, punchy like hooks and stuff. They're actually really good at hooks. Like the, the fact that they can come up with those catchy little segments. Like even because like no one, I can't ever rap along to that. No way. Even if I knew the words in Korean. But they can have those moments where it's like super hooky that anyone can join in. And I feel like that's the kind of, that's the cheat code, isn't it? We're only going to dance like crazy. Okay. Oh, very singy so far. I like this. Dude, this is a lot more like upbeat, isn't it? Oh, what a hook. This is what I kind of wanted to see, a different kind of like element to them, like, you know, like see what else kind of stuff can they do, you know, that doesn't always need to be that kind of like hard hit and aggression that I kind of feel like they're known for. You know, they're, they're such an electrifying group that sometimes I want to see what can they do melodically or what can they do that's on the softer side or kind of like switching it up. And I definitely think that already here, we're seeing that. Only going to dance like crazy. Oh, is that what DLC stands for? Dance like crazy. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's huge. I love what they've done. They've given the music space. Okay, this is a banger. I'm such a fan of what they did there. They let the chorus breathe there and just kind of put in a couple of hooks rather than you know, going crazy, pun intended there, over it. This one just has like a, such a different atmosphere to the rest of the stuff that I've already heard from Stray Kids, which feels really refreshing for me. And I really, really enjoyed this. Oh, the piano. Dude, there's so many hooks in this. Dude just walked in there and they just bust into dance. I like it. Oh. Dude, this pre-chorus is so catchy. Hell yeah, man. Like the song is breathing so much in this one. 
what's really good about them is they really are all about like kind of like serving the song you know because they could throw so much because we know how talented they are right we know that they could all, they could rap for days over those lines they could sing like crazy over that chorus but they just know that they want to have this huge sounding thing and they've done that completely and also this video is so different from their normal videos you know like the high production the crazy transitions this one is more about the feel and i feel like that just serves the song and it's just it's such a good choice i wonder where this was filmed because this looks european Okay. Ah, oh, that is big sounding. Dance section, man. Live, you know that that's what this would be, right? Dude, that's so catchy. Okay, they're clearly in France then now, okay. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Dude, it's such a vibe. Dude, this was a banger. Proper banger. I feel like that was at such a good point in the album as well, in the track listing as well, because it kind of feels like it it helps break up the album a little bit. Because you can have that kind of like high energy kind of stuff that they always do, but it's always nice to have like a breather because then also when you do come back to that, you feel it more. It's, it's, it, it, it's a way, it's like an ebb and a flow. That was a really good one. And I really enjoyed seeing a different side to them, you know? Okay, let's go. Dude, he's so striking, isn't he? Dude, these transitions, man. Okay, we're getting back to the stray kids we know. And we are right back to that Stray Kids thing that we kind of know, you know, especially like the line, you know, like, you know, you can't stop us no matter how hard you try or whatever it was, how hard you chase us. It's kind of like their bread and butter. Like they kind of know how to just do it perfectly, you know? Not gonna lie, sometimes I would like to see a little bit more variation in that a little bit, like in terms, especially that kind of like the lyrical content as well, like we saw with DLC. That was really cool. But I suppose, you know, if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it. Dude, those boots, though, are awesome. Dude, they look like models, don't they? All right, let's see where we're going to build, where we're going to go. Come on, give it to me. Oh! Dude, that is a hook and a half. Dude, it's such a simple track that they've got here. It works. Dude, they kind of like lead sample line. They've got that. The fact that it's pretty much the same through the verses and the chorus is just one is muffled and like lo fi and the other one is just like trumpetized almost. It's so cool because it has its own repetition so that they can kind of like add their own thing to it. I think that that's kind of like one of their strongest things. Dude, how can you be that good looking, man? Dude, the transitions are crazy with these guys, man. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Dude, man, it just it just works, doesn't it? Dude, I want one of them Stray Kids boxes, dude. Okay. I feel like Stray Kids like have this formula that they always have that kind of like similar kind of pre-chorus all the time. It kind of goes softer, like more melodical, and then it'll like build up, line, drop. Like I said, even if it can be a bit predictable at times or whatever, it's kind of on brand, which is always a good thing because if you're if, if you're into that, you're always going to like it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that stray kid's all around the world thing. That's what they always have at the end of their videos, right? That's pretty cool. Stray kid's shoes, man. I mean, like, they could sell all of this shit and make a fortune, man. I'd buy it all. Oh, dude. That was clean. Turn it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Letting that breathe instrumentally is such a good choice. Dude, this would be a really fun song live too, wouldn't it? The energy. <laughs> that's one of those ones where you know that live it's gonna like take a world of its own because it's got that kind of energy and those drops as well but also those sections where they kind of just left it there so musically you know that there'd probably be like a sick choreo section or something like that okay this is different okay i like where we're going this this feels different Thank you. This is cool. Oh, that's nice. I've actually kind of low-key been crying out for something like this in this album. We kind of had it a little bit with DLC, but it's that kind of variation to, you know, to change it up and also show us what else you can do because we know that you can do it. You know, you've got those incredible voices as well. And if you take those production skills and you put it into something like this, it's just, it's a different offering, isn't it? And I really love seeing groups show how versatile they can be. And this is that. It's kind of like rapping and singing at the same time. It's so nice. Oh, okay. Let's go back in time so you can tell me you love me. This is perfect, dude. I love this. Dude, we needed this. Oh, and it still has that groove and energy to it still. This works so good, man. Whoa. Honestly, this is exactly what we needed. And it's just so nice because everything that I knew about them, I was like, th they can do this style. And now that they've shown it, it's like, I told you, I knew it. Now, obviously, of course, I'm new to Stray Kids. So you guys might be thinking, oh, well, yeah, they do this stuff all the time, you know. But for me, fr from what I've heard of all the singles and stuff like that, it's not been so apparent. So this is a really, really nice treat. Ooh. Oh, like you used to. You're the beginning and the end if we fall apart. Dude, that flow is wild. Dude, that voice. That's the sort of voice that gets you pregnant. Just by hearing it, you know? This this actually might be one of my favorites of the album so far. Like, I love hearing that all the skills that they are, they can do can work in a song like this. Like, they've even got, like, sections of that fast rap, and it just works so well because of the tone that they're using it in. This is awesome. Dude, I love this. So many kind of like space galaxy universe kind of like references here, which is really cool. Especially when you're talking about love as well, you know. Okay, what, what are we doing here? Dude, the production if you wear headphones is wild, man.
Oh, it's a fade out. Okay, did not expect that. That's just actually really kind of like made me happy hearing that song as well because it's also not just a different style of like actual like music that they're doing. Even like lyrically, it was such a big change up for them as well. And I love seeing how diverse groups can be and how they can shake it up and can they flex muscles in other areas, you know, maybe outside of the comfort zone. And they're absolutely capable of doing that. And I absolutely love that. Oh. Completely different vibe. Oh, dude, this feels different for Stray Kids. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to be in love, guys. I can feel it. Dude, I love this style for them so much. Oh, I really love this for them. This is such a different kind of like, this kind of feels like a summer anthem kind of radio hit almost. And I know that's not like the signature Stray Kids thing, but they have such insane talent that this really works for them. Like they're so good that they can kind of make all of this. Right? Like I, I reckon if they wanted to be a heavy metal band, they could. If they wanted to be a straight up pop band, they could be. And I love hearing this from them, you know? Okay, let's go. Dude, that voice, man. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is perfect, man. Oh, dude, I love this. They've always been so damn good at those like hooks and they I love it when like groups don't even need to necessarily use words but I mean it's a word but like they use a, a a vocal melody as a hook instead it makes it so big sounding and also it means that people that are new to it like myself can already kind of get familiar with it and start you know like singing along you know this is this is brilliant I love this sound for them Oh it's so nice and groovy Mm. Oh, dude, that build up. So nice. Dude, his voice. Dude, I just love this for them so much, man. They can do it all, man. It's so cool. Oh, they're so damn talented, aren't they? Dude, and this video is so perfect. I love this because normally their videos are always so like wild and like their transitions and the energy and like explosions and fire and all the crazy stuff. But sometimes you just need to match the atmosphere and the vibe of the song and i've noticed especially in the last couple of ones they've really been doing that really well and so i say it's always about serving the song because that's the that's the, the whole point also i feel like this was filmed in melbourne i used to live in melbourne uh, for a while when i was younger and i feel like this is melbourne Dude, so nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, this is Melbourne, yeah. I couldn't really tell before, but now I can. Dude, this brings back memories, man. I loved it, though. Oh, those vocal lines, man. Those high notes are so damn good. Oh, man, I, I would love them to do more like this. Dude, so nice, man. Hell yeah. Okay, this is animated? Bit different. Okay, where are we going with this? Looking at yourself. Oh. A lot goes in your mind. I'm so glad we're seeing these different sides to Stray Kids now, man. Dude, 
do I love the fact that they've done something different for the video too it's almost like a lyric video in a way going through the five star album I remember at the, earlier on saying, you know, like I kind of want to see a little bit more diversity from them because obviously they have their signature sound. But this and a couple of the others since that I've heard, I'm just so glad because I love that they are just so good at everything. And it just makes me feel like, oh my God, there's so many different things that you can go to Stray Kids for now. You know, it's not like, do I need that kind of like energy or whatever it is? Even this kind of, you need this sort of song, they can do that. And I always, I always knew that they could. I just wanted to see it. Like a waterfall, they shower you with love tonight. Okay. Dude. You're perfect in my eyes. Dude, that oh that's that is such a beautiful voice, man. Well it's a harmony, isn't it? It's so good. And we're building. Oh dude. I love the fact that we're getting harmonies from them now because I don't really know if we've really heard too many like samples of that from Stray Kids and they are they are they've such beautiful voices. Oh man, I this this could potentially be one of my favorites now, I think. Oh. Dude. Hell yes, man. Yes. Oh, that's such beautiful lyrics too, man. Beautiful. I love that word. Honestly, like this has like potential like mega hit vibes to it. Like I don't know how popular this song is, but I have a feeling that maybe this would be like one of the more popular ones on the album. But God damn, I mean... I love the fact that they've done something different with the music video as well. And I don't know whether people would rather see them or see them do something creatively. But I think especially for the type of song that this is, I feel like this works better for the song because it really brings to life what they're trying to say. Let me tell a little story about oh. the could shine. Oh, I love the use of the guitar as well, man. Like... Dude, there's so many things that are beautiful about this. And visually, I love this. Oh, dude, his voice is so perfect for this. Oh, here we go. We're building again. Dude, I never thought I'd get a ballad out of Stray Kids, but I love it. Dude, get your lighters out. Hell yes. Oh man, I'm so glad to see this side of them. Oh man, I love those lyrics. So good, man. I always wanted more from Stray Kids, like to see what other stuff they can do, but the idea that from when I first saw them doing, you know, S Class and God's Menu, that you'd get like a a powerful ballad out of them and that it would sound just as good as any artist out there damn i mean this is just i'm so glad we got this you know oh the post chorus oh oh that voice dude perfect this is I think one of the highlights of the album, man. Damn, dude. I'm so happy right now. Dude, this is so good. Oh, man. This has been a really good treat. Bravo. I mean, for me, that is just perfection. You knew that they've got all the ingredients and all the tools to do a song like that. And the fact that they can just do it and like give us what we want is, is just perfect. Also, let me know, like, how did you feel about that? Because obviously it's kind of different. Well, I'm assuming that's quite different for them because I've never heard anything else that they've done. And I feel like we've gone for a, a decent amount of their stuff now. Do you like that side to them? Or do you prefer the kind of like trademark Stray Kids energetic kind of 
thing. Let me know. Okay, where are we going here? Oh, jacket fell. Oh, this is ominous. So what's this? Okay, here we go. And we're back. Dude, this video is wild. Those graphics. Dude, I love him with the black hair too. Dude. And just like that, we back. Dude, this video is wild. Like the guitars coming out of here and the way that they're moving. Like it seems like kind of like a simple setting, but they're just making it work really well. And also kind of like the instrumental that they've got is nice and like, it's not too crazy and out there. But what it does is it just allows them to just come a, kind of like come on and just do their thing over the top of it and gives them so much room that's sick dude the energy is wild oh, dude that transition oh my god dude all right where are we going oh that is huge oh dude i love this Dude, it's kind of rocky, isn't it? Hell yes. This is kind of like hybrid Stray Kids in a way. It kind of has that similar energy and that kind of vibe that we're kind of used to. But it's like an elevated rock kind of version of it. It's more of like, and do you know what it is? It's anthemic, isn't it? And I always feel like that's perfect for them because they've got all of the tools to be able to pull that off so well and they're doing it. Dude. I like his jacket. See that that beat is so simple, and it's, it gives us so much room. Okay. The build up. Boom. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. This video, the... Dude, whoever does the CG and stuff in these videos, you need to be working for Marvel, dude. Dude, I love this for them. I think as well for them, because they're, they have such energy, their shows can use this sort of song, you know, like an anthemic thing where... The crowd can get involved as well. It's not too wild for them so that it can become, like I said, anthemic for everyone. And the thing is, the video is just so perfect for this as well because it just represents that kind of subtle kind of calm verses that they have, you know, those kind of flows. But then when it kicks up, literally the roof is being destroyed. All right, where are we going to go with this? Dude, his voice is crazy. All right, let's go. We build in. All right, let's go. Oh. Okay, we had the nice delay drop there. Okay, that 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 has the anticipation. Dude, their choreography is always so legit, man. Let's go. Dude, that was a banger. I really like that. Again, it's a kind of a different side of Stray Kids that I've seen. You know, it kind of has those similar hallmarks and the kind of things that we're used to when it comes to stray kids but it has a, like a new fresher element to it as well that anthemic kind of big kind of rock thing going on i mean they literally had like guitars and drums and all sorts there but it was the way that they did it vocally which was really cool as well they had those moments of that da -da 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 -da. like that's cool because people can get along to it and it's got that repetition in there as well that was an absolute banger okay
All right, where are we going to go with this one? <laughs> Looks like a bit of a vibe though, a hangout. But they look kind of bored. Oh. Dude, that's nice. Wait, what? Guitars? Are you joking me? Dude, really? We're doing this? Oh. Okay, I, I'm trying not to get too excited, but I'm hearing kind of like emo pop punk rock here. And the idea of Stray Kids doing this? Okay, okay, I'm trying not to wet myself, okay? But let, let's see where this goes. But this, I mean, uh, okay. Okay, I did not see this coming, but I am all for this, dude. Oh. oh, they're so perfect, dude. Oh, dude, this is this is me. This gives me like anime opening versus MGK kind of vibes, you know. I'm absolutely in my happy place right now. This is. This is everything I ever wanted and more, man. The idea of stray kids with their abilities, their voices, their, their songwriting to do something like this. I mean, this has shocked me. Oh. Dude, that is perfect. Oh, I love this. Oh man, I want them to make a whole album like this. Dude, this is... This is actually my favourite Stray Kids thing so far. This is... As a metalhead, I know this is metal, but it's rock, you know? Dude, they're so damn talented. The fact that they can do this, man, and pull it off and make it work so well is just a testament to how good this... This, this group is man like i don't know if they write the music that they do or like how much if they don't like how much of input that they do but the fact that they can just make this work in like this is this is perfect honestly oh, this works so well oh dude man this feels perfect Oh, his voice, dude. Oh, man. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed, man. I'm living for this song right now. Dude, this has made my day, I'm not going to lie. Like, this is the sort of thing that literally just puts me straight in a good mood, you know? And the idea that, like, next weekend I could literally be seeing them now, I, I this is just, like, honestly made my day. Dude, this is amazing. And I can see from Spotify, this is one of the more popular songs on this album as well, and... Hell yeah, man, I can see why. Okay. I'd be very curious to know how this was received by people because it's very different, isn't it? Like, was this a crazy popular song? Oh man, the vibes as well, so on point. Right, yeah, I love that. Throw away all your tangled, complicated feelings, you know? Oh, don't end, man. It's not fair. Oh, that's so beautiful, dude. <laughs> oh, I love that they've included all this, man. <laughs> oh, amazing, dude. Dude froze. And he's back.
<laughs> oh, you you can't you can't hate on bloopers, man. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, I love that man so much. That song just kind of just sums up for me just how talented this group are. The fact that they can just do that and it works so well and the vibe matches everything. You know, we went from God's Menu to that and it works. Like those are the same people and it works. I just wish we could have more of some of those things as well. You know, like I know that there are going to be certain songs in, you know, when they get released that are going to perform better because of the style and how like eccentric they can be. You know, some of their energy and craziness is out there. And those are the songs that are going to get the most traction. But these are songs other songs are just absolutely beautiful you know and this album as a whole has been one hell of a journey and i actually think that they did it really well because it started off really strong and it was like a journey and an experience going through it wasn't like all over the place in, in terms of style it felt like a journey and the way that it ended with that song as well i thought was brilliant guys let me know what did you think of this album as well like you know did you feel the same way that i did about it what was your favorite song as well and as always if you want to see the full uncut version of this because obviously we've got to cut it for youtube because well youtube YouTube sucks and just wants you know not us not to have fun because they block everything then i do have a patreon where you can see the full uncut version weeks before they hit youtube as well for all the reactions the links to that will be down in the description below you can see everything else that we do as well and if you want to recommend some other stuff for us to do as well you can actually send me links to stuff i have a discord with over 2,000 people in it we've got a channel set up specifically for you to send in your recommendations the links to that will also be down in the description below and of course let me know what other songs would you like to hear what other albums would you like to hear let me know down in the comments below. But guys, I've had an absolute blast. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.